Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover do-it-yourself projects and garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. Ah, good morning, everyone. Um, on this uh, frosty, very frosty day. It was minus five last night. Um, as you could probably tell behind me, it's very picturesque. Very picturesque. So, sorry I haven't put a uh, video up uh, late, uh, lately. Um, welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. And uh, for some strange reason, I've got uh, 62 subscribers. I'm over the moon. Absolutely over the moon. Thank you for subscribing. It's, uh, it makes things, you know, makes things, makes me happy um, to produce more content. I've been a bit uh, busy uh, lately. Um, I haven't had time to film it, but um, I've been, um, you know, doing odds and sods around the house and in, in a other renovation project and um, uh, refocusing on what we need to do this year to earn some cash because we need some, well, I need some cash. Um, it's okay, the, the wife is... Uh, working but um yeah i mean she's the only person providing the cash so i need to get my finger out and earn some money um but uh yeah so the the jeet is virtually operational um i just gotta get uh, our other place sorted that's all uh so uh today um I've done some cooking this morning, um, bright and early, um, oxtail stew, and uh, using a full bottle of red wine. What's not to like? So if you've got a kilo of uh, oxtail, throw it in the slow cooker, um, cook some uh, onions up, a couple of onions, what, what did I do? Yeah, a couple of onions, some chopped carrots, some herbs, such as... Uh, bit of thyme, uh, bay leaves, couple of bay leaves, bit of stock, uh, so it's two silver onions and one red onion, some mushrooms, um, some ginger, bit of cinnamon, a uh, bit of tomato puree, and um, cook that off and then throw it into the slow cooker, and then add some turnips, you know, small turnips, some potatoes and uh, some leeks if required and let that uh, slow cook for what I'm gonna let it slow cook for about four or five hours and then let it cool down and then take the meat off the bone and then put it in the fridge and then after it's been in the fridge for a few hours you peel off the fat because the, this produces a lot of fat but with fat, there is flavour. So, um, and that's what I've done. I will, uh, I'll, I'll show you where I am with it. Let's, let's walk in, because it's, it's bloody cold out here. So, excuse the state of the place. It's, um, it's Una marking her territory. So, here we go. So, that's it. Can you see? No, you probably can't see. But it's it's all cooking away. And if you want to thicken it, you just add some uh, flour or uh, corn corn flour, and uh, you can make dumplings with it as well with uh, self-raising flour. You don't need any suet or anything like that. Um, but if you want uh, this recipe, I'll put it up. If you want, just. Uh, Give me a, uh, uh, send me a message, or write in the comments. It'd be great. Um, so I'm now going to take Una out because she's, yeah, she's she's she wants to go out. Don't you want to go out, Una? 
Yes, you do. So I'm going to take her out, and then I'm going to prepare some uh, roast veg with some butternut squash and some potatoes and garlic. Oh yeah, garlic. Two cloves of garlic. Garlic in the oxtail stew. Um, bit of paprika, bit of ginger. I think that's it. Oh, celery. A couple of sticks of celery. Oh, see, I've given you the the, the recipe now. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, this afternoon I will be um, out in the uh, uh, garden, cutting back, getting the motor tools out. I might film a bit of that. In fact, I probably will film a bit, a bit of that because, you know, I haven't put out any footage as of late. So there you go. So um, I'll see you in a minute. Ah, <laughs> hello again. Uh, welcome to Dave's Diaries in France in the workshop. I'm just about to start some uh, trimming back of some bushes and shrubs and trees and, you know, real man's work. Uh, it's minus two out there, still frost on the ground. It is uh, quarter past two in the afternoon. I'm not allowed to start any machine work, noisy work until half past two. So uh, everything's fueled up, ready to go. I've just got to wait for 15 minutes and that's it. And then I'll take you with me. Okay, see you in a minute. Right, we're all set. Let's uh, crack on. Earplugs in.
Right, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. And uh, carry on later. I may have a lie down. <laughs> See you later. Well, I've done what I can today. Uh, given I only had a couple of hours window. And uh, yeah, it's progress. But uh, I've got all this to do. All along here. I've got to make them round again. I've got to trim the old uh, rosemary back here. Uh, yeah, so I'll be doing that. Yeah, Tomorrow, I'm in our other place, renovating. Great, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to. It's just a bit of fun. If you do, I'll be over the moon. Absolutely over the moon. I think I've got 62 subscribers now. And I'm, I'm chuffed to bits. Whoever wants to watch a 57-year-old man <laughs> busting a gut? Who's a cripple? <laughs> Who, who'd have thought it? Anyway, catch you later. And I'll catch up with you soon. Bye now. Well, I thought I'd finished uh, recording for today, but I just thought I'd give an update on um, the uh, the oxtail stew. It's absolutely... I don't know whether you could see that in there, but the smell is crazy delicious. It's beautiful. And for tonight, we have roasted veg, which I've just prepared with some lamb. Oh lovely anyway take care thanks for watching speak to you soon